What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. I see what you did there. Yeah, I'm. I'm a big uh, fan. I'm a snake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome that, in. That vine lives forever. Yeah. In no, my in my house. Good. Oh, I'm a snake. Uh, Mike. Mike might be a snake <laughs> because today on our uh, at the end of the episode we're drafting the best reptiles. So that'll be fun. Did any of you, uh, out of curiosity, did any of you have reptiles growing up as pets? I did. I did not. I have one now. I do not <laughs> want. We just Oh, heard. you have a yeah. bearded dragon? Yeah, yeah, bearded dragon. Was that at lunch or on this that show? That was at lunch. Oh, I, did man. I miss? I must have missed Yeah, it. yeah, you missed. I, so wait, what happened he, with the bearded he dragon? He took the floor and told us all about his bearded dragon. I You're not a fan. This thing. I hate it. Is it because they just don't do much? They don't do nothing. <laughs> They do. We've had one for a long time. I have same I, spot that when we got it in. Yeah, I mean he doesn't move. He doesn't eat. I can't get this thing to eat. Why are you responsible? Well, my son Isaac would never. I mean, I, isn't he, it his lizard? Yes, it's his lizard, and he tries to feed it, but he can't. I mean, I, you you are pretty you, much have to open this thing's mouth and put a worm in there for him to eat. He will. He hasn't eaten. He in wants weeks. to die. Weeks, man. I try every couple of days to feed this thing. See, our our bearded dragon, my son's, he, he won't eat like fruits and vegetables, but worms and stuff. He's, oh, he's yeah. in on that. Oh, this little guy loved worms growing up, and then he became a man bearded dragon. It was like, I'm gonna do nothing. I'm gonna not like, like I'm so gonna do like, little. Right. I thought he was dead right. multiple times. I've I took a spatula in one time to take him out to take the <laughs> dead corpse Wait, out. Why? Why did you need a spatula? It is I, that I is know. interesting. You went spatula, not tongs. You, well, tongs. We can't just bare hand a dead I, lizard. It is funny to think like, okay, I can go in. I I'm not afraid of the lizard. Like I can I can grab him. I move him yeah. around all the time because that's the only way he moves. I'm like every now and then you should be in front of the heat lamp, right? Like is it your temperature? You, I'm gonna put you up there. Um, but if, but it, was, if, but if it, was it was immediately dead, like I, I just touched him, and then I know oh, I've got, I've got the heart monitor icky, on him. Icky. I've got the heart monitor on him, and, it, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, he's dead. I feel like I can't touch him. You're it's all true. Now? Oh, I, I uh, feel like it's if I mean, I feel it, like when I touch him, my fingers are gonna go into his body as he's just this okay, rotten okay. corpse. I mean, you, you've all, we've had the experience of finding a dead bird in the yard, right? Yeah. yeah. You don't touch that with bare hands. No. Well, a dead. A, I do the in, inverse yeah, uh, the, the bag, bag thing. Yeah. Yeah. But a wild dead bird, you have no idea what the bugs or the disease. That but. is what goes through my mind is that some disease starts to yeah. go okay. immediately. And okay. that's what you, for a dead bird outside, that is what you should think. But for a, a domestic pet that has gone nowhere. Oh, and I mean nowhere. Yeah. Yes. This thing. So when this thing has a ever when it has a funeral and they do the slideshow of its life, it's all one scene. Yeah, it's, it's just gonna. It, I could take one photo and then I'll put it uh, in 150 slides, and that is its entire. So your life. son doesn't play with the lizard. No. So my, why do you have this lizard? We want to not have this lizard. There are so people bad. that would would come come and pick it up for you. So I've thought about that. The lizard people. Oh, I've thought about that. I literally saw a post from a teacher asking for a classroom pet for anyone who is looking to get rid of a pet and and i will pay you one thousand dollars if you replace that bearded lizard in his room with a fake bearded lizard of a like and see how long it takes I, for it, him to notice i promise he has no lizard i promise you he goes to college before <laughs> He notices, and 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 please understand, he's not in high school. There's no chance. <laughs> oh man! Goes. Eventually, gets to a point. Where it was like, how long do bearded dragons live? <laughs> well, in my experience, fifty to sixty years. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't. You have to feed. They them. don't age. Yeah, you just <laughs> feed them when they're young, and then you can stop feeding them forever. They no longer need to yeah. eat. Uh, oh, Al does man. have a, an insight. I like this, Al. Maybe Jason should stop buying pets. Yeah, yeah, yeah you says gave- Al, who has my former dog, who does you hate. Does he want a lizard? But here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. I bet he eats for Al. I have two awesome dogs. I have two awesome dogs. I love them. They're great. So I think what I need to do is buy more pets. More lizards. Just more pets, but okay. get rid of the bad ones. Shotgun approach. 
Oh, uh, the reason I want to get rid of the lizard is because it's worthless, and I only found that out by buying the lizard. Okay. I need to buy a bunch of pets, keep the cool ones, and then get rid of the other ones. But the problem with getting rid of, like, the teacher wanted a classroom pet, and I'm thinking you don't want to condemn them with a exactly yeah. right. I felt like that. I can't give this to someone. I I've, I'm giving them a a dead rock, animal. a rock, <laughs> a pet rock. All it does, you know, you know when it moves, it only moves for one thing: poop. To poop, to stink up the room. I don't oh, ever. Oh, they got stinky poop. I man. don't see it poop. Reptile poo, or but yeah. it's it's like dangerous. It poops, and then does nothing, and then somehow it how does, did it, it, how hasn't did it, eaten it in pooping? weeks. Yeah, it hasn't eaten in weeks. It's like I can I can poop again. It's like <laughs> what? <laughs> so hold on, what happened with the teacher? Oh, I we never reached out because I didn't. I felt like that's not fair to that classroom. Ah, uh, okay. like the pet would be. It's not fun for them. Right, and uh, you'd honestly, rather be condemned with this and thing. Honestly, I I, I don't know. Burden. I don't know bearded dragons. I don't know if this is common for all of them, and in which case, I'd feel a lot better. I assume mine has like major problems. Problems. Depressive disorder. Depre oh, he is so <laughs> depressed. He is so, so malnourished for so, sure. He's just a sad lizard. It's this vicious cycle. He I don't knows think you don't love him. I don't think he has the energy to eat because he hasn't had any food. Mm. So this is just. Oh, it's a little, uh, yeah, it's a cycle. But I try, man. I try. You there get was, the good worms? There was, or are you oh, buying got, cheap worms? I'm buy oh. Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't you know, know man. The, his, his worms are imported from France. Yeah, I'm buying the <laughs> finest worms, Andy. <laughs> the other day, this was like two or three weeks ago, I go in there and I go in with some spinach. So uh, yeah. uh, some spinach yeah. leaves. And his eyes were open, which that's already an amazing miracle. <laughs> when I walked in, I was like, oh, my gosh, he's awake and alive. <laughs> I put out the, the spinach immediately, right off the bat, turns towards the spinach, tongue out, grabs the spinach, eats the spinach. I'm like, we're in, baby. He's starving and he's awake. That's never happened. And so I give him another piece. He doesn't eat one more <laughs> piece of spinach. He's like one, one thin, piece, wayfair. One thin <laughs> wayfair of spinach and he will not <laughs> eat anymore. I just... I, I couldn't stand there any longer. I put the spinach. I just left it by him. I'm like, maybe he's got performance issues. He can't you, do this while I lay watch. it over him. I laid it right in front of his okay. face, man. Just right. Like he it's, covers him in a leaf of spinach. Uh, okay. All right. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, you stupid I, lizard. I did. I put all the spinach right in front of him where he could reach it. But then I was mad. And so I put one on his head and I left. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually true. Jason uh, and pets are the best topic on this show ever. He, you but, showed him. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> Eat it. Um, yeah, that one fell to the ground because he was up on a uh, on a branch, but um, where I had to put him, of course. Um, but the, le the he never ate another piece of spinach at all. Yeah, just no, up. he was full. Yeah, yeah, he was he stuffed. Was stuffed. Um, wow, that was uh, that was great. So we're drafting the best reptiles. And I'll I tell you what's not on. <laughs> yeah, bearded dragon's not on my list. Uh, that you'll save it for the worst reptiles draft. I mean, best reptile name. Yeah, I mean, it a is a good name. Bearded dragon. They got a good marketing. It department. seems like confidence is not there for the bearded dragon, and so they named it that, trying to get it to move. Yeah. Uh, we have that draft to end the show. We have is this real life on today's episode. That was a moment of is this real life. That was yeah. funny. Uh, would you rather as well? We'll kick it off here in a second. Thank you to everybody who's subscribing to the Spitballers podcast that enjoys the show. Uh, if you have a second, you can leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever you listen. And uh, the number one way you can help us is just tell your friends and family about the show. If you enjoy their happiness and you want them to hear about Bearded Dragons and the and and you know it's a cursory tale, right? Now no one's gonna make that mistake. Mm -hmm. We've we've still got ours, but had I heard that first, I wouldn't yeah. have one. Uh, but you can tell your friends and family. We'd appreciate it. Let's get going. Would you rather? Would you rather? <clears throat> and I already know the answer for your bearded dragon, so we're not gonna answer for. Uh, what's the name? Spike. Spike. I'm not gonna answer for Spike. Uh, would you rather be insanely stuffed with food or very, very oh. hungry? Mm. So two two possible okay. outcomes. You're you're you know, I, I feel like uh, the insanely stuffed side, I mean you're tired, uh you're you're just like can barely move. It's it is painful. We 
I'm sure you've had a meal and it's ruined yeah. the whole day. We, I, I've, I, every day. We just, <laughs> we, just, we just had a meal. We had a big, uh, uh, celebratory meal, uh, a couple months back, and I don't know what happened because I didn't. I don't feel like the meal got away from me, but <laughs> right. there was just, I guess, the combination of appetizers and then the the main course, and of course some dessert because we're celebrating. And I stood up and went, oh. <laughs> oh, I am really full, and wait, this is this is on our trip to Vegas. No, this was this was before that. Oh, this, okay. This was we went to the nice steakhouse because we had uh, you know friends in town, and oh yeah, and yeah, it yeah. Ju it, it just kept getting worse. It was like it was expanding more and more in my stomach, and to the point of I was full, not being hyperbolic. I was full through the next entire day. Where I did not want to eat. I knew I had to eat something so I don't just crash and become a, a grump a dump. But I was full forever, and it was it was awful. It was uncomfortable. I didn't feel like I could do anything. I couldn't like the the thought of if I dropped something that day, <laughs> it's on the floor now forever. Because yeah. I my You're not body, going down there. My body can't reach down there today. Yeah, thank. It's like you walked a day in it my was, shoes, Mike. <laughs> Thank you for Why experiencing. Do this he hasn't life. picked anything it's, up in a it's while. It's awful. I haven't picked something up since <laughs> 1999. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, putting socks on. It's tough life. I mean, what's yeah. the first? I mean, there had to be a day where you went from putting socks on to, to, to not being as fun to put socks on. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there was a day, but I don't remember, you know, it's yeah. a slow burn, right? Uh, gain in weight. So you, <laughs> you don't just put it all on overnight. It takes work. It takes time, energy, effort, money. I mean, there's a lot goes into putting on the pounds and, uh, I'm happy to say I succeeded. Uh, I, was it your goal? You met your goal weight. Uh, I'm still achieving guys. <laughs> what is it when UFC, you, you're trying to meet. You're trying when, to move up in weight. Oh, oh no, yeah. you're trying to move okay. up in weight class, right? Uh, most people do the opposite. Yeah, most I guess people so. are trying to move down a weight class. But um, on the flip side of this question, when you're starving, just being hungry. Yeah, yeah. I think it's different for different people. When I am starving, like and my stomach is rumbling and I'm very hungry, I can get a little grouchy. Yeah, most that's, of us do. That's very very common. But I'm so proud of myself. You know what I mean? Oh, like, okay. I, I, I feel good. Like, I'm like, I hear that rumbling. I'm like, that's right. You're empty. <laughs> that's right. That's what you get. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. So, I, I mean, this is an easy pick for me. You're taking the accomplishment of being hungry? I'm taking the accomplishment of being We're starving. We're talking two to three hours? Yeah, probably. I, I, yeah, about, about that, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go the hungry route, too, because- only one of these can lead to me vomiting. Um, yeah, okay. And, okay. And I just feel like, you know, uh, I'm at the age now where if I don't eat in a routine fashion, just one outlier meal like that. Yeah. Like we had uh, the most generous gift given to my wife and I from uh, a friend. They they paid to have a, a, a trained chef come to our house and make us a meal. Mm -hmm. And it was unbelievable. And that was the problem. It was too good. Yeah. And, you know, uh, they make it right in front of you. You're eating all the food they give you. And it was a great time. How right obligated then. How obligated did you feel having this yeah. chef come yeah. to your home, prepare the meal, present the meal, yeah. right? They're, they're oh, yeah. like telling Each you, course, yeah. Yeah, telling you everything that's in it and why it was this way. Mm -hmm. I've got mine scheduled for next week. Yeah. Um, how obligated? How obligated are you to eat? Every last morsel of food. it is an incredible amount of pressure. <laughs> yeah, I and mean, it was an incredible <laughs> amount of pressure afterwards, but in my stomach. <laughs> I mean, it was funny because the first course of this meal is something I've I don't know if I've ever eaten dates in my life. You know, the, the, more, first, of yeah, the first, more of a married man yeah, over yeah. here. Oh. Um, but See, yeah, I go, I go terrible. bad dates in, from Indiana Jones. Have you? You guys like dates? Have you had a date? I'd, I think I am sure I have, but I don't I mean I don't I, seek them out. I ate three appetizer things with dates wrapped in prosciutto and a, I, I don't even know what a date is. Isn't it's a, a date fruit. like a big raisin? It kind of felt yeah. that way, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think I've eaten one. Yeah, it was good. It was it was good, but yeah, that what, what I'm getting at is like trying to sleep that night. 
my wife and I were both like, we woke up multiple times. And what yeah. was that sound you made, Mike? Night in my oh, sh- just, that's oh. the. Oh. We both woke up at various times, sat up, and went. Oh, yeah, that was me the so, night after. Like I, and I'm a tummy sleeper. So, oh, oh no, so oh it, no. I was doing the the impossible task Red of, alert. of trying to sleep on my back, and it was just. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It was it was awful. So yeah, no, that's, I'm taking, uh, I'm taking know, very hungry. You know how, have you heard the trick? Like for people that snore when they're on their back, Yeah, they put the, uh, <laughs> they put the tennis ball. They like Wait, tape, tape a tennis ball to their back. Oh, so that they don't sleep. So on that their they back. don't sleep on their back because then oh, it's could really you uncomfortable. Do that on your tummy. Mike. Well, that's what I've done. No, you have not. Well, I have I have made oh, my sh- tummy <laughs> into something I can no oh. longer sleep on. Okay. You walked right into that one. <laughs> okay, but hold on, Beck. People, can you make a bed where they have a cutout? People- I need one. Like like I was I I've honestly thought like <laughs> they got to make something like this for pregnant women, right? <laughs> so you oh, searched like a pregnant did massage you, table. Did you search for pregnant bed. <laughs> pregnant bed, pregnant massage table. Dude, that'd be odd. Are you know how much buying, more comfortable that would be. What percentage of your purchases, dude? Really? The Pregnancy. shame of the delivery. Ah. When when does she do? Oh, I'll just say uh. October. October. <laughs> that's when she's due. Like, and then they're like, they're like "That's eleven months." <laughs> <laughs> the math is not math thing. I don't care. It's none of your business. Get out of here. <laughs> give, me, give me the pregnant bed. <laughs> so people will tape something to their. I mean, to retrain. Just what kind like of a- tape are they? Are they taping this ball to their back with? Oh, there's like pillows. Although there's hmm, there's more than just a belly cut out, and that's a problem. <sighs> okay, I'm I'm on it. I'm gonna find the right table for me. <laughs> yes, it, okay. So Did it is work. It is anatomical for, <laughs> for oh, ladies. Come on! <laughs> oh come on, Andy! <laughs> it, for those in the audio version, there was someone shared the the pillow that that Jason was envisioning. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But and I said there was more than a belly cut out because it's it's built for. Pregnant women. Yeah. And so there's three cutouts, <laughs> two up top and a big belly. And then Andy goes, yeah, that'll work for you. I got got. <laughs> oh, please, <laughs> buy it. Okay. Yeah, it's in the cart. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so we're all we're all down with very yeah, hungry. You got to go very hungry. Oh, man. All right. Uh, would you rather have? Uh, is an important one. Uh, would you rather have big toes for all your fingers? Big yeah, I thought it was the end, for all it was the end of the question. Would you have big toes <laughs> or big fingers? Okay. No, big toes for all your fingers. So okay. sub out your fingers for big toes. Okay. Picture Weird. that okay. in your mind. Or <laughs> pointer fingers for all your toes. Okay. So, okay, so the, you're like which a, is super creepy in my head, man. It's you're basically an orangutan. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they Oh, they so, so I guess, see, I was picturing them staying, s- like, straight out. Because your pointer oh. fingers are yeah, like. Yeah, but you can bend them. Yeah, but yeah. to walk, you'd have to have yeah. them be. you'd need some very I not, large Do shoes. I not know what an orangutan is? The the the, or- the the stocky orange ones. Their feet are basically hands. Okay, so they, they're, they're kind of. But with your hands, yeah, the, I know it's you call it the big toe, even though it's not usually right. your your biggest toe. It would, it would be the small finger. It would be the it's shorter than your thumb. Your big toe yeah. is nowhere near your thumb's length, and it's but it's as thick as your thumb. So imagine like little baby thumbs. Oh, yeah, yeah, little nubbies. All five of your fingers. You can't do that. You you're against that. I don't think I could grip a baseball. So with in that. that case, if you don't want that, your feet have pointer fingers yeah but if you can figure it out i feel like there's advantages to this to the feet yeah, yeah. not to the Wait, hands because you have you don't have dexterity of a hand though yes you do well you don't no. have no you don't have the the, the no. middle of you your just hand, have, but you like, have the dexterity of the fingers you got gangly fingers down there yeah you would have some finger dexterity yeah you could grip you could i would think so Absolutely. i think you could like can i hang upside down like a bat i think you can you could Absolutely give them the, the bird <laughs> yeah i can now like i could sign with my feet Right? It just feels creepy to me. Well, but you can cover it. You're going to wear clown shoes, but you're still <laughs> going to have them okay, covered. Okay, yeah, as opposed to nub hands, fingers, nub, nub yeah, fingers. Every, every, you know, every Do time. You Go punch? shake someone's, you know, it's like, hey, nice to yeah. meet you. Would you punch better? No, you wouldn't punch better. I, that, I had the same thought. I was like. You're hoping there'd be a use? There, there's no advantage to thumb fingers. What is the, what, what does the big toe really do? Other than give you, like, 
balance, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it's doing work because we're we're all walking around. It, I think it they've grows done the best nail. I think people have replaced <laughs> done, best done, nail on my body is my big toe. Oh, that was the worst nail on my body. I had to get both of mine fixed because they kept growing into the sides of my oh, toes. Ooh, like too, with, too good a nail. Yeah, your nail was like, watch how big I can get. <laughs> let, let me change the question <laughs> for for a moment here. If you if today you were doing some woodworking, I know you're very handy, Jason. Yeah, I probably might do that. Uh, and you sliced your thumb right off. Okay. And the doctor rushes, they rush you to the hospital, and the doctor says- Oh, I'm dead. Well, okay. uh, I would have immediately died. <laughs> like that, that's of, not the question. Fear and heart yeah. attack. <laughs> but he slices it right off, and then they're like, sir, we, we can, uh, with a snap of our finger, we can just put your big toe, take it off your foot, and put it on your hand okay. as your thumb. Right. Would you um, would, would you rather have no thumb okay. or no big toe? Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, would so, you rather swap it real quick? Okay, so the, the options are, would I rather have a big toe for my thumb or no thumb? Correct, yeah, because it, it's a choice. At the hospital, they're like, we can do this. It's forty nine ninety five. That's pretty it, cheap. But this removes it from my foot as well? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah it's gone. Yeah. Then I won't do it's that. It's not a donor thumb. Uh, <laughs> sure. If I could get a donor thumb, I think I would like do it. Like someone else's big toe, you'd do it? I think so. You'd prefer an, somebody else's big oh, toe? Oh, yeah. I'd rather Not, keep my I toe. I wouldn't prefer that to my own toe if I had three of them. Does but, that mean you could get, like, corns on your hand? No. Oh, that's okay. just coming from walking on it. Oh, so, okay. like, can you be you along, with, that too along with an organ donor, you could be, like, a phalange donor? Hmm. Oh yeah, like when you're when you're if you right. expire, yeah. they take them all. And yeah, then, my t my toes are available. How do they keep them? I mean, they put them, keep ice. them on just ice. Put them on ice. ice. Yeah, everything. The Last answer to everything is ice. Um, I think you guys. Uh, well, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> we did we we did that question. All right. Uh, would you rather trip and fall every time you try to run, or miss your chair every time you try to sit down? <sighs> Have you guys <laughs> ever missed the chair? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, it yeah is thoroughly embarrassing. Yeah, and it brutal. It hurts. hurts. Yeah. You're you're not you because <laughs> you don't realize how confident we sit. Oh yeah, <laughs> we sit with full <laughs> yeah. confidence. Yeah. And you just think, I'm sitting. This is just something that I do. Your trust in that chair is 100%. <laughs> it is. It is. I it's, mean, it's... you don't, no one sits down gingerly. Like, it just doesn't happen. Unless you just had surgery on your butt, you are just, you're just plopping down, yeah. man. And if, well, if and you God missed that chair. God gave us the tailbone. <laughs> yeah. And the tailbone, when it hits something, it's, ow. Uh, yeah. Red yeah. alert. Missing, and, and I'm sure... Y'all were part of it because we were all stupid teens oh, yeah. once. Pull the chair out. Pulling the yeah. chair out. It's so but, funny. But at least in, in the age that you're doing that, you're not a 40-year-old man. Right, right, right. Where there are – the consequence of like a 13-year-old a going to the ground is, oh, that was a little bump to bruise and some giggles. We go down – Hospital. Yeah, I saw. I just broke my ribs. I saw a video of these two old men that were in a foot race, and one of them tripped. Oh yeah, he tripped the it's other really one. Really funny. Tripped the other yeah. one. And it was so yes. funny. But right I'm, out the gate. But what I was thinking was <laughs> like, oh my gosh, you trip a man in his whatever seventies. He was that old. Yeah. I think it was. It was oh, on someone, grass. At least it was on grass. It was on grass. Clip. Yeah, yeah it. it's out there. It's great. <laughs> um, but you, you can't. so what you. How but often so, are you running these days? I mean, are you willing to give that up? For us, it would be sports, which that would be really unfortunate to lose that. But the amount of time in my life that I sport versus sitting in a chair is uh, it's heavy on the I chair just, side. I just heard Al Borland start to laugh. Oh, did you pull he must up have, the video? He must have watched the video of the tripping grandpa. Yeah, I just shared it with you, Jason, in the chair. I just saw yeah, it. It's it's, um, yeah, it's... It never gets oh, old. Eat it. <laughs> eat it, old man. And then he runs past them <laughs> yeah, and wins does. the race. All right. Um, so are you are you saying that the, the confident chair sitting would just be too difficult? We sit all the time. Yeah. I would You'd be live falling in a, I would every live day. in a hospital. Yeah. All right. Um, quick break, and we're moving on. Today's show is sponsored by our friends at Greenlight. When you're a parent, you'll have your fair share of big talks with your kids. One of those big talks should involve money, and Greenlight can help with that. Greenlight is a debit card and money app made for families. You can send your kids instant money transfers, 
get real-time notifications of spending, manage chores, and automate allowance. Set up recurring or one-time chores customized to your family's needs and connect them with allowance to reward your kids for a job well done. I love Greenlight because my kids have a, they have a debit card and I get to be in complete control of how they are spending their money and I don't have to worry about my kids losing cash. Like they just they have a card, but it's not hooked up to my big account. I get to control it and they have their own account. They get to build financial literacy and independence by learning to save, spend wisely. The Greenlight app also comes with an in-app financial literacy game level up that helps kids build money confidence through videos, bite-sized challenges, mini games, and more. So stop putting off the money talk and start putting your kids on the right path. Sign up for Greenlight today and get your first month free at greenlight.com slash ballers. That's greenlight.com slash ballers to try Greenlight for free. Greenlight.com slash ballers. Is this real life? All right. It is time for Is This Real Life, the segment of the show where we share a real life story that we've come across in the news with one another because we just can't believe it's true. I think I'll kick it off today, if you Please don't mind. Please do. Uh, this one is, uh, this is shocking. The headline says, um, well, I don't know if I want to read you the headline right away. Okay. I'll read you the first half. Tantalize uh, us. Police, police, uh, came to pull a Jeep out of a lake. Okay. And so, uh, they showed up in about 40 feet offshore. They see the, mostly the tippy top of a Jeep. I mean, there's a Jeep. 40 feet? Yeah. 40 feet offshore. They got this thing deep. Yeah, and you know, I mean, you've seen the videos. People sometimes they get by the boat launches, and the the, the car can uh, maybe they left it in neutral, it rolls right. down or something. But I mean, this is this is a this is a jeep that everyone that arrived there said, "Well, there's a jeep in the lake. We got to get the jeep out of the lake." So what did they do? They there were some fishermen there. The fishermen saw the jeep and they called the sheriff's department. And the sheriff's department showed up and said, "Well, let's call the tow truck company." And the tow truck company comes about twenty minutes later and. Uh, they go out there and they're, there's a woman inside of it, alive and totally what needing rescue. Oh my goodness gracious! Yes, like there was air still in yes. the car. Yes, she had been reported missing what? earlier in the day. How long had she been in there? I don't know hours, but the people that showed up didn't even check. They just had a tow. I mean, imagine the tow truck company shows up and they, they they're swimming out to hook up the tow truck. This story ends with her alive, right? Oh, she's fine. Oh my gosh! Yeah, the what if she her. wasn't? Well, then we wouldn't be doing the story on it's, this show. But my yeah, point exactly. is more. The, let's say you're the fisherman, and then you it turns out that someone died, and then they do the autopsy. They're like, this woman's been dead for like. 10 minutes? 30 minutes. This, no. She was alive when you got there. It was 40 feet out from shore. The fisherman who called the authorities stuck around, and he used his boat to help a tow truck worker get the Jeep, get to the Jeep and hook up the tow cable. And it says, quote, it was at this time they saw the woman inside the Jeep. The captain added abruptly what began as a salvage job became a rescue. Wow. Why did she just stay in the car? It worked. Well, I mean, you don't, we, when you go under water, Mike, she doesn't want to be in there. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you can open the door. No, you're no. You, come on, you got to know the emergency protocol. You think what you can get out of a protocol? jeep you're, that's you're, got about three supposed, feet? Don't you? Hopefully, Al can. If I, you can't I break the was, window, you're. And, I thought it was immediately. If your car hits the water, you immediately correct. Put your windows down. You would, really? Yeah, yeah. You would want to change because, the because pressure because if you don't, if you don't do that, you, as soon as you're under the water, you can't open anything. You're, you're the, the pressure will keep your door shut. Wow. But you can't roll the window down? Not with not if the power goes out on your car. Oh, I mean, if you, power that's the one, ben, one of the benefits from the manual uh, windows was uh, escapes. Wow. Yeah, it's escaping lakes. Escaping <laughs> lakes. But, but um, yeah, so some people keep little uh, glass breakers in their car and stuff like that. But just in case they go underwater? Just yeah, just they in case you need to break a glass. Yeah. Well, it's not in case you go it, that's also in case your door gets like if you if you get hit and you can't yeah, like, open your door. Yeah, if you needed to get out. Feels but. unnecessary. Well, they sell them. Uh, let me just ask. Pull the four men here yep. that, you know, combine for 160 years of life. Okay. Anyone ever had to break out of their own car? 
I know Al Borland has. I have not. Oh, I bet you've had to break in, though. I have. Well, sure, yeah. yeah. I mean, that I makes have, more... I have not had to break out, but I do have one of the, the glass pictures. You've got one? Yeah, my wife bought them. So See? Wow. I don't know. I mean, then... She got freaked out by something, and now we, I have one. Wow, good job, Instagram ads. Amazon Basics. You, you want to know the trick, though, Mike? It's got a seatbelt cutter on it, too. It does. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. the same one. Yeah. See, what? there we go. The problem, problem is, is that, uh, if you have a Tesla or any some of these more advanced windows, you can't break them. They have like uh, anti braking, so you'll just drown. Um, but anyway, she you won't was a- drown. You'll, st- I mean, yeah, you just ha- you just have a party. Yeah, just wait, just wait till you hit the bottom and drive. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I found that story to be quite ridiculous. Right. That nobody thought to, I don't know, take a little glance, see if someone was struggling for their life in there. But she's fine, and um, they got her to safety. I'll go next. Mine's short and sweet and simple. Uh, there's not a ton to it, but it felt appropriate for today. And the the article title is uh, Pilot Felt the Slither of a Venomous <gasps> Snake in the Cockpit okay. Then Turned the Plane Around. There was a plane oh. travel. This the, the, the guy is in South Africa, and he's mid-flight, and he says he felt this cold sensation underneath my shirt where my hip is situated. Oh, no. Basically where you got your love handle. And when he looked down, well, the pilot was surprised to see a highly venomous Cape Cobra oh. next to him. Mm. That, will, that if you get uh, bit by a Cape Cobra, you're dead inside an hour. No. Yeah, this is this is wow. a very venomous snake. Oh, that is a movie plot. Yeah, it's snakes like on you, a plane. Yeah. Like you can't. But I mean, you if it's you literally a movie. But the idea of being like so far, like if you're over an hour from a, a landing spot. Yeah. And you get bit, you can't get back in time to get the venom. So he, also, have to think, if you're flying a plane, is it, I imagine this was a smaller plane. It is a smaller plane, So yes. you are in full control of this thing. If you got to go mono mono with this snake in this tiny room. Yeah, you're toast. Any of you ever been in a vehicle? Yes, you have. I already know. But any of you <laughs> ever been in a vehicle where like there's like a spider. Oh, like a, a large cr- creature. A spider or a creature across the seat from you and you're like i have to drive and navigate and, yeah and i've i've told the story before I've, I've only done the one where like the bee flies in the car that's that's bad enough man <laughs> i went it was pretty bad i went to a coffee shop the other day uh, no joke just by my house I already ordered drive through i get to the window and i'm seeing the people in front of me there's like 20 bees at the window and they're all swirling around the window which is actually quite bad for the employees right I uh, yeah, but yeah. it's also bad for me getting my coffee yeah. and paying, and they're just treating it like normal. And she's like, "Yeah, I got stung earlier today," what? and I'm like, <laughs> "Do I drive off without my coffee, or do I try to navigate? Like, be calm, the bees will be fine." But no, dude, that coffee belongs to someone else now. Donate, yeah, donate so, to the person anyways, behind you. So what? What did he do? He turned around to go he, back. So he decided to turn around. He let the passengers know what was going on. They stayed calm. He turned around, brought the plane back home, and he <laughs> said, "He said it just thankfully he just got lucky that the the snake never struck because if he did, then it changes everything. At that point, you're the pilot. I need the snake is the pilot. <laughs> yeah, at that <laughs> point, the snake's the pilot because there is no pilot. We need the recording of that of the. Uh, uh, <laughs> there's uh, yeah, there's, 420, 420. There's a gentleman. There's a uh, there's a snake up here. <laughs> we gotta we're go gonna, back. We're gonna we're gonna turn around. Back. We're gonna hope he doesn't. We're gonna bite turn me. around real <laughs> slow, like yeah. If it bite, is anyone else back there know how to fly a plane? Anyone got any venom? <laughs> Just asking. Uh, Mike, what do you got for us? All right. So we've all had bad days, sure. But this is uh, a, a, well, thankfully it doesn't end in tragedy. But this is a from a. Uh, from bad to worse, so uh, in Manchester, uh, New Hampshire, uh, a woman fell. She was th- taking out some garbage, okay, and she fell into the dumpster. In okay, okay. Well, that's um, that's unfortunate. That's, Ow! That's I. I don't, maybe you you had to like get on a ladder. I, that part is not disclaimed okay. to us. Then the trash. Oh no! The, oh, <laughs> the no, truck came. Come on, man. And uh, th- took her away oh in gosh. the garbage <laughs> and <laughs> took her away. I took her. This was in Toy Story. Not this part where, uh, so eventually she is rescued, 
but not after. Reportedly, the garbage had already been compacted <gasps> four no! times. So this woman what? is in the dumpster trying to figure out how to get out of a dumpster, ends up in a garbage truck, and then you're like, it's full Star Wars where you're inside the, you're inside the truck. That's exactly what I think of. And all of a sudden, the wall just starts pushing in towards you with all the garbage. And, oh! s- and, and somehow this woman How is she survived. got a cube? I, I don't know, man. Oh, my goodness. So they, so they used a basket ladder to reach the top of the truck and get her out. By then, she was... Stand, Very small. She was st- <laughs> standing, talking, yelling, not alert enough to answer questions, was taken to the hospital. She's okay, but- Just partially just, compacted. Just, I don't know that the, she's okay. There's no way you could be okay after the that. The horror. Yeah, I mean, there's probably long-term you know, mental effects from this, but the horror of- I mean, the, it's like- Four this, times? This is horror movie stuff there, of the walls coming yes, at me, that and is, I can't go anywhere. That's one of- I'm going to sit here and get smooshed. I'm going to watch slowly yes. myself- <laughs> get crushed there were there were movies it's as awful. a kid the two the two things that were like that were getting smashed in the trash compactor yeah. and then also the trash compactor walls but they're covered in spikes and yeah. as a kid oh yeah those two things somehow i don't know if it was some movie i got exposed to i mean not just Indiana Star Wars. Jones, you know? well yeah temple of doom had the did it have that, was the, the, yeah. that was the spikes from the top there was something about that that just seemed as bad as yeah, it gets because it is like there is a but she's fine I, lady I, in the jeep she's fine hopefully Hopefully they're all okay. You want to be the lady mm. in the Jeep for eight hours, or do you want to be the tra- oh. Never mind. I want to be the lady in the Jeep. Yeah, yeah. you want to be the lady in the, the Jeep. Trash compactor. <laughs> yes, you want to be the lady in the Jeep. You survive one time, you're like, that's, I can't they're believe They're not going to compact me I can't me believe again. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Now, t- now, let me ask you. Are you okay on the fourth one? You know what I mean? By then, you're like, oh, yeah. bring it on. <laughs> Come on. You, you can't You can't me. kill me. She goes from terrified to confident. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. That is insanity. Me thinks Lady might have been drinking when she fell in I, trash can. I have no idea. All right, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get to this draft after this. The Spitballers Draft. Well, 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 here we are, Mike. We are drafting the best reptiles on today's show. You have the first pick. I am curious what direction you're going to go. So I I think there are definitely a few worthy of being uh, the first pick in the draft. I'd agree. But I'm I'm going with... Uh, I'm going just big monster style. Oh, but, uh, right. We'll see. We'll okay. see. All right. I'm taking the Komodo yeah, dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All, all right. That's all the right. clear one-on-one. <laughs> the, it is the clear one-on-one. I mean, you could make an argument that they're so so remote and yeah, rare. That, it's like, very rare. But like, uh, maybe they don't strike fear. They seem like a mythological creature. They do. Oh, they strike fear if you're around one. This, is, this thing is a... It's a real-life dinosaur. Yeah. And if you haven't seen a video of a Komodo dragon just housing a goat... Or whatever. Oh yeah, they just it, one gulp or something. Pretty or what? much. Basically. It's just they pick it up and now this thing is gone. You're like that was a that was a full sized animal. It was a, I mean that, the, that, that Komodo dragon just just took it down. Komodo so, dragons are actual monsters. Like yes. Like do the, you think the meteor that got the dinosaurs just whiffed, whiffed on them? I think they were like, you can't hurt me. <laughs> You're what are you a trash compactor? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Okay, so Komodo Dragon, a noble, uh, majestic first pick. Jason. I would not use the name majestic. I'm watching it how's it going right now. <laughs> this is just a demonic beast. It's a war movie. Um, all right, but it's a great pick. It is the first pick, and I was so sad. Gotcha. What's funny is I was sad. I didn't think about this until we were the, For the, until the draft was going, but I was like, oh, Mike's got the first pick. Mike definitely would take Komodo. I wasn't sure if Andy would, but then I realized if Andy was the first pick, then you still no, no. pick me for <laughs> yeah. me. All right. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, you're. <laughs> it's, I'm it's, watching it's, this thing eat a goat, and it's it was unbelievable. Is oh, dude, crazy. Like, like, like can a, you out? Can I at least outrun these things or something? I don't think so. The, uh, oh, monsters boy. are usually, you know, they're they're uh, their attributes. I think great. I could ride one. Oh yeah, that's big enough. Let's Saddle see. up. According Still goat to, hunting. According, it looks like the Smithsonian Institute says. Hmm. 
uh, briefly reach speeds of 10 to 13 miles an See, hour. See, I think I could, I could yeah. maybe get there. You could, but still, a creature of that size running he's 13 probably, miles an hour. probably full on goat. That's on, why. <laughs> honestly, I think you would outrun it because if he's, if he's running 12 miles an hour, what's Tyreek? Tyreek hit like 21 miles an yeah. hour this last year. I think you'd go probably 20, 28, 29 <laughs> miles per hour if a Trying Komodo get away dragon. From that. <laughs> I mean, I would run out of my skin. I would just. All right, your, All right. your turn, Jason. Komodo um, dragon is gone. There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of good ones, but for some reason, this just feels. And maybe it's maybe it's literally the name. Um, but it feels special, unique, terrifying. Uh, you know, I, I, there's something about animals that could kill you. Yeah, that um are are special. Sure. And I'm gonna take the king cobra. Yep, it's very high on my list. It's got the regal. Yeah, I mean, not just the name, but it's, the, it, it sits up. Yeah, it sits up. It's it gets got eye the, to eye with you. It's got the wings or whatever the yeah, neck, the, the ears. I don't yeah. know what you call. Yeah, what are those called? What is that? I'm the mane, all. the the snake's mane. Yeah, the crown. Hmm. Is that, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna find out. What for do we even search for this? I know. What do you call King the cobra neck King flap? Cobra <laughs> neck flap. <laughs> we uh, all know what it is. The cobra's hood hood ah. is created by many elongated ribs that are capable of extending the looser skin on the neck outwards it, it's a great pick um it would have been my pick oh, had okay. you not taken it good, good um, but it was going to be a very close contender here with would the, you have picked komodo dragon like if if you had the first pick or would you have i have back to back so yeah i would have gone okay yeah i mean i my, my pick here i was i was hoping to get komodo dragon or king cobra or and I felt like they were all similar. The saltwater crocodile. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> that was the other my one. third. Yeah. Yeah, we're those, all locked in. Those were the top three for all three of us. What's, yeah. what's funny is the saltwater crocodile is the largest living reptile on Earth. So it is bigger pound for pound than the Komodo dragon. I would love yes. to see those two fight. Yeah, and you can. I it's, do uh, not. Pay per view. Um, I do not know week. who would win that. And so the, then it's like uh, I was hoping to go crocodile and King Cobra together. Um, I've got kind of this pick is more of a later round sneaky pick, so take, I'm actually take it, you coward. Look, the best reptiles we all went kind of like forced to some degree. I'm gonna go cool now, and I'm gonna take the chameleon. I'm yeah. gonna take the chameleon because it, it looks incredible. It can change colors. Um, nifty little lizard is what I say. So I'm gonna take the saltwater <laughs> crocodile and the chameleon. Okay, all right, nifty. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go back to the snake family. Okay. I know I've already got one. Snake. But when I was drafting <laughs> King Cobra, when I was drafting King Cobra, I was like, ah, there's one other snake that might be just cooler than the King Cobra. I mean, they made a whole movie. Oh, no. Oh, you this bum. anaconda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep, the anaconda. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. I don't want none. Yeah, give, give me that music. I don't think I have it. Yeah, but uh, Al's got it. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Oh, I do have it. So the anaconda, that's the biggest snake there is, right? Yes. And they all... They, they, Did you understanding... see the one recently? They go on the water too, right? Yeah. yeah, they're, yeah they're, that's I, not good. We just... Uh, like a new video. I'm talking in the last couple of days came out of... they. It was the the largest one caught on tape. Yeah, I mean, that, that means that... Before that, they didn't know one that big existed. That's what that means. Yeah. Uh, it says, new anaconda species identified during the filming of a Will Smith show. It could be the largest in existence. It weighed over 1,100 pounds. Oh, a my snake? goodness. Come on. Uh, an 1,100 pound snake. <laughs> How can you even call it a snake? <laughs> that's uh, that's large. That's That's been eaten. Eaten well. Um, yeah, that's a good pick. Definitely on the list. All Mike, right. Mike, you got a pair. Uh, I got a pair. I am going to go, uh, this is where I thought you were going to go, or I was hoping you were going to go with the snake, because uh, anaconda is, you got to get the biggest snake. But we'll just stick with another deadly one, and uh, we'll go with the black mamba. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, I mean. What's the features Kobe, of the black mamba? I believe just extremely uh, venomous. Venomous? Venomous. More venom than Vem anybody. More yeah, there's the, let's see, Black Mamba. Man, they're highly... not scary looking, though. Yeah, but if you know what it is, it's oh, yeah. scary. Yeah, if you if you can identify. That's, that's the thing about them. They, they're they like, oh, it's just a regular snake. Wait. You're dead. But it's not black. 
It isn't? No, I see. I Come see. on, I figured jet black. Yeah, I mean, some of them are, but most of them well, seem I'll like be they're darn. silver. That's the maybe it's eyes. But silver some mamba, silver mamba's not scary. No, that sounds black like mamba's like watch out. Silver mamba sounds valuable. Interesting. What color? <laughs> you know what? Wouldn't black. it be nifty? <laughs> it's, a, it's black, you dummy. What if you were out there and you're like, oh no, that snake over there. I hope it's not a black mamba. And then you see it, and it's like gray, and you're like, oh, thank goodness, it's not a black mamba. And then it goes, whoop ow, whoop ow, I am a black mama. Despite its name, the snake is not black. Instead, it ranges in color from gray Please to, say dark, black. to dark brown oh, okay. with saying. a lighter underside. This is, you can't call this a black mamba. It's against the laws mm. of nature. We've really unraveled this poisonous. That is very strange. Fake <laughs> snake. Mm. Mm. All right, Mike, you got okay. another pick. And now I'm not going to go dangerous. I'm just going to go awesome and like. It's the Galapagos tortoise. Yeah, man. Dude, those giant tortoises that live hundred forever. 150 they years. Are, they are eternal, but they're just yeah. they're so gigantic, and they're so awesome. I mean, like that gigantic shell just, just cruising around, man. Just, just hanging and out. And they're big. They're, yeah, they're huge. Because everything on the Galapagos Islands, the, the meteor missed it all. Oh, it did. Yeah. Uh, all right, you've got the uh, Galapagos tortoise. That's a good pick, Jason. I, I'm, I am still real, You're reeling, reeling over this black mamba thing because I mean, words mean things, you know. Like words have meaning. You, you ever see that brown horse that was uh, green? Yeah, I mean, it's like you. you You're really like, having a hard time with this. The spotted horse. Well, that's a zebra. No, <laughs> you can't. You can't call it spotted. It's not. There's now, no could spot. it be spots. The, uh, mean something. It's got like black, dark black eyes. You don't think that's the? Uh, uh, there's no acceptable excuse for something. Also, that when, it, when it bites you, you're just you decay. You I mean, they could have just gone with blackness. Yeah, could have just gone with mamba, right? Like that's a cool name. They didn't have to give it there's a color. More, I think there's more mambas. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I hope there's, there is a black one that's is, called like the green mamba. There is a green. <laughs> there is a green mamba. Yeah, what color is it? Very green. Oh, yeah, see, see, yeah. <laughs> see, that uh, makes sense. Okay. All right. Uh, am I am I back on the clock yes. here? Yes. You got another pick. All right. Um. I wait. Uh, wait. Oh. Oh. I have an update. Uh. While it may surprise you, black mamas are rarely black. They are called black mamas because the insides of their mouth are black, where green mambas have pink mouths. <laughs> well, then why is it a pink mamba? So the green mamba's <laughs> just a messenger. <laughs> the green mamba, it's the outside that matters. The black mamba, it's the inside. Come on, scientists. <laughs> All right. You're better than this. <laughs> All right. Make your pick, sir. I'm like really upset at this. Like, I'm gonna I saw it. It was the middle of the night. I'm sorry. I didn't have a good look at it, but it's already named. It's done. We can't change it. Um, I'm going to take the sea turtle. Is uh, uh, Okay. You know, you, you got great movie. You got crush. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, what other ones? What's Crush's? Well, you, squirt? you thought you were gonna say? Yeah, that's the boy. Yeah, there you go. I thought you were gonna say there's tons of movies. <laughs> there's so, tons, there's tons of sea turtles in that movie. In sea, Finding Nemo. Sea turtles are cool. <laughs> sea turtles are big and they can swim fast. They got a shell. There's all sorts of reptilian yeah, it, features of yeah, this. Yeah, no, animal. that's true. <laughs> Well, look, uh, look, I feel like I don't want to be left behind in the turtle brigade. Oh, I, get in on this. I've, I've got the one. The that, Teenage Mutant? <laughs> no, I've got the one I wanted. It's the one that kind of, I feel like it detours from, you know, traditional turtles are like smiley, happy, slow little creatures. And this guy, this guy's the like. Oh, yeah, he's on my list. He's he's a problem. He's the snapping turtle. Yeah, snapping turtles are mean. I mean, they take everything. Whatever. You, is that thing a tooth on the front of their mouth? Take everything you know about turtles and turn it on its head. I mean, isn't uh, speaking of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, isn't the in the Tokar Razor? Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I think that it's one's Tokar. A yeah, He's a snapping you. turtle, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go with the snapping turtle. Those things. And they're all. And my description for it says, you know what it do. It, they're all spiky it's and mean. Snaps. Yeah, they look hardcore. Like that's the kid that got kicked out at a young age. You know what I mean? From the turtle family. Yeah. And went out and like he lived a little. He's seen some things. He's seen some things. Um, and then for my final pick, lot you guys you guys made some good selections here. Um, I don't have a snake. I don't have. Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> you 
I'm a, I'm a snake. I'm going with the Gaboon Viper. What? Oh, Gaboon? The, the Gaboon Viper, because that is the Gaboon. I mean, Vipers Vipers are cool. Yeah. Gaboon. The you name is Viper. cool. And then it has the longest fangs of any snake, and it's got the highest venom amount of any snake. Yeah, we are learning a lot about reptiles. So I feel like I, I needed a match your turtle. I needed a match your snake. Got my chameleon. Got my crocodile. And I'm out. All right. Okay. Jason. Uh, I'm up, and for my final pick, I'm going to take the horned toad <laughs> for the name alone. They, are they the ones that do the, the blood out the eyes? I hope so. That would be uh, awesome. That's disturbing. Yeah, they're the ones that you can pick up, and you can pet them. Yeah? Yeah. Is that true? You didn't know that? Yeah, you can. Okay. I picked up. They call them horny toads yeah. out here. All right. So I got one of them. Okay. I'm trying to figure this out. Which which animal? Yeah, horned lizards. Yeah, it, yeah. Is, it is them. As a last resort, horned lizards may use one final defense mechanism. They shoot blood from their eye sockets. One oh, final because so so it kills themselves. <laughs> they lose all their blood. Dude. Oh, yeah, that's not cool, man. That's wild. You just don't need to do that. Oh, you know? my word. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. They, <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's a better pick than you even knew. I, no, or a worse one. Oh, my God. You gosh. picked that, man. Dude, I can't. Got I'm the watching. Stigmata. That's insane. That's like you wish yeah, you could a do super that. soaker out of your eyeball. Yeah, but it's blood. <laughs> oh man, that's a good pick, Jason. All right, All right perfect. Final uh, pick, Mike. So I can pair the opener and the closer. I got the Komodo dragon to open, and I will close with the Gila monster. <laughs> Oh, that's Whoa. a How good. How do you guys forget the it Gila monster? It wasn't on my list. I didn't forget. Bro, I just AZ boys got to know about the Gila monster. I would have taken the Gila over the horn. Yeah, when they if a Gila that's a monster, bad bite, man. If it bites you, it, is, it like never it, lets it go or something. It doesn't let right? go. Yeah, and it's got venom or yes. or, or toxic venom teeth. Yeah, yeah it, it, it will poison toxic you. Teeth. <laughs> it it will, never brushes. It will. <laughs> it's just these things. Well, are, it's not venom, is it? Yeah, it is. It's oh, poison. it is. Yeah, so when it bites you, then I don't know. Then I thought, the poison goes I in thought your body. I needed like snake fangs for venom. No, but their their bite is notoriously strong uh, compared to like slamming uh, your hand in a car door if you're bit on the hand. They call it the snapping turtle of the lizard family. About as toxic as a Western diamondback rattlesnake. That's what I thought. Wow. That, which we around here, you know I, that you don't like if you see a rattlesnake, you don't mess around it's you just get out of I the feel area. like we would mess I, around with a gila monster i can't believe you should not I'm not saying you should i can't believe that we didn't draft a rattlesnake being in arizona yeah like the like yeah i've never come across a gila monster i've come in proximity of a rattlesnake yeah it's terrifying what about a gaboon viper <laughs> <laughs> huh? you should have taken a rattlesnake all right um That'll do it. Mike with the Komodo dragon, black mamba, or whatever color mamba. Galapagos giant tortoise and a Gila monster. Jason with the king cobra, anaconda, sea turtle, and horned toad. All right. Uh, one more thing. What did we learn today? Oh I learned that we... black mambas aren't black. <laughs> and so you didn't, stupid. and you don't accept it. I that. don't appreciate it or accept it. This could, this could be like your life thing. Like you go and you like petition, you get this thing changed. I'm going to, I'm going to. Leave the show, guys. Run for I'm... office on that. Get it changed. Yeah. Um. I I learned that I could, you know, as devastating as they are, I think I could outrun a Komodo dragon. Yeah, you could. And I learned that I think I want hands for feet. Mm, <laughs> incredible. <laughs> All right, I'm that'll do it. it. Thank you, Al, for putting the show together today, and we'll be back with another episode of the Spitballers very very soon. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.